Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Check out this new model I designed. This is a Beyblade spin top, and you blow on it. And it spins. Here's one that works better. And you can go pretty fast too. And it's from one single square of paper. This one's sort of a shiny paper. This one's like duo Japanese paper. Now we're gonna use a six inch square like I used for these. And we're gonna start by dividing the paper into thirds. So the way I do that is I take the paper and make an S shape, lining up the two sides. Like that. And pinching. And then we're gonna, with the white side facing up, we're gonna fold it into thirds, the one direction. And we're gonna unfold here and unfold here. And we're gonna fold it the other direction. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna divide this into thirds. Like an S shape. And once everything is lined up, we're gonna pinch the ends and then fold it. Fold it on the pinches, white side up again. Fold it the other way. Unfold here, unfold here. Now with this, now we're gonna have to fold it diagonally in half. We're gonna make a diagonal crease. Both directions like this. And unfold it. Now we're gonna turn this over and we're gonna fold this corner to this set of creases. We're basically gonna make some creases in these squares. So we're gonna take this corner and fold it up to this crease intersection. So and we're gonna crease from the middle to the left, to the right, sorry. So like this, you can see we have this third square and we have the crease now. We're going to rotate, bring this corner up to this crease here. Crease center to the right. Rotate corner to here. Sharp creases. And one more time, fold the corner to that crease there. And fold from just the center to the right. And now we're going to flip it over and we're going to collapse it. So we're going to kind of take the corners and sort of push together, and we're gonna collapse it in a clockwise motion like this. So we have what kind of looks like a ninja star. Like this. And now we're gonna make this into our Beyblade. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these points, fold it down along the center here, basically folding this white square in half. And we're gonna take this edge and fold it to this diagonal crease. The crease is gonna start at this point here. Crease it really well. And we're actually going to unfold this, and you'll see why in a moment. And then we're going to fold this back out. Now we're going to work going clockwise. So we're going to turn it like this. And take this one, and this time we're going to fold it over. And this time we're going to actually fold this in to the crease. This time you're actually going to leave it folded. And fold it back. Rotate again. Fold it down. Folding this in angle. I'll go this way so you can see a little bit better. Just like that. And then fold this back. Take the next one. Fold it up along this middle. And then again take this and bring it to the diagonal crease. It gets a little bit thicker at this stage because you have the extra layers in the middle. fold it back over on itself. And now the last one is the trickiest. We're gonna fold this flap underneath, but we have to sort of unfold this part to do it. And that's why we creased this at the beginning, pre-creased it. So we kind of just unfold this flap as far as we can, taking care not to tear the paper. And then you're gonna just, like that, fold this under on the crease, and then just kinda, there we go, re refold it back in place. And at this point you're almost done. You can leave it flat like this. It won't actually spin. It'll just look like this. But to make it spin, first what you want to do now is you're going to fold these points up along the edge. Unfold them so they're slightly on an angle along this edge here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to kind of reinforce these, mount these diagonal mountain folds and kind of pinch the center like this just gently to make sort of a pyramid and then flatten it almost all the way so it's slightly like so when you go like that 
it'll spin. So we're going to make, make sure you flatten it out a bit. And now to use this, you're going to blow straight down in the center. I'm going to try to keep this in frame and watch what happens. Just like that. Bring it a bit closer. And there it goes. And that is how you make an origami Beyblade that actually works. So, or you can just take it like this and spin it by flicking the edges, but blowing it is more fun. That one really spins well. And that one spins for a long time too. So that is how you make the Beyblade. I hope you're able to make that one. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.